everybody, this is paper one from May 2023. This is time zone two. All right, question one is a five mark question. Zaha is designing a bridge to cross a river. She believes that the weight of the steel needed for this bridge is approximately 53,632,000 kilograms. The exact weight of the steel needed for the bridge is 55,625,000 kilograms. Find the percentage error in Zaha's approximation. So for this question, we're given an approximate value, some estimate, and an exact value right here. And percentage error, remember, is given to us in the formula booklet. Um, percentage error is given by estimate minus exact over our exact value. And then we want to represent this as a percentage. So in the formula booklet, this is under topic number one, number in algebra. And if we go down here, 1.6 percentage error. Percentage error is equal to estimate minus exact over exact, and then we want to represent this as a percentage. Uh, so the percentage difference, the percentage in which we deviate from our exact value. So let's go ahead and write that here. Write it out in words, and then we'll input those values. So here we are. Percentage error is the estimate minus the exact over the exact value. And then we want to represent this as a percentage. And these long lines right here are absolute values. I should put an equal sign there. These long lines here are absolute values. And what that means is we don't want any, any negatives. No negatives. That's what that's saying. So let's write out our percentage error for these values. Our estimate was 53 million. 632,000. Our exact was 55,625,000. And we'll write this out over our exact value. Let's say we want to represent this as a percentage, so at the very end we'll multiply by 100. Okay, let's go to the calculator screen and work this out. Let's go into the calculator, let's set up a fraction. 53,632,000 minus 55,625,000 minus 55,625,000 and then we'll put this over our exact value 625,000 Alright, and this is giving us to this this is giving us a value that is a fraction um, that's not particularly useful let's go ahead and look at number and we'll ask to convert this to a decimal so remember it's a negative, we don't want a negative, so we'll just take the magnitude, that is to say, the non-negative value of this. But first, of course, we need to multiply by 100 to write this out as a percentage. So initially we had 0 0.0358. As a percentage, that's gonna be 3.58%. Uh, and once again, we don't want this negative value. The absolute value signs around our original percentage error saying no negatives, no negatives allowed. Okay. So let's write this out. Percentage error is equal to, and then we'll write this out as 3.58% to three sig figs. So once again, no negatives. All right. Zaha's design is used to build five identical bridges. Find the weight of the steel needed for these five bridges to three significant figures, to so three significant figures. So what they're testing here is an ability to round and then also familiarity with three significant figures and what that means. So let's go ahead and work this out. So the exact value of the bridge, this is part A, let's write out part B right here. The exact weight of one of these bridges is 55 million 625,000 and what we want is we want to build five identical bridges. So actually, actually let's go back to the calculator and work this out. Um, here we go. 55625000 zero, 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 and then let's times this by five. Okay, so what we have is 278,125,000. So let's write that out, going back to the calculator, sorry, going back to the document here. 
this is going to equal is 278 million 125,000. And to three significant figures, we're only going to want to have three meaningful digits. And so in that case, it's just going to be these first three. So we'll have 278 million, million, and then I guess we could put kilograms. Significant figures, remember, are, um, for example, if we're, if we're looking at with zeros, so if we have something like 0 0.302, this would be one, two, three significant figures. But if we have something like this, this would be one, two, three significant figures. And then lastly, if we had something like this, this would still be one, two, three significant figures. So if we have a decimal, in this case we don't, but if we have a decimal, our first meaningful digit comes with some non-zero numerical value, and then everything that follows it, even if it is a zero, is meaningful. And so as soon as we have some meaningful digit, some non-zero numerical value, everything after it is now a significant digit. So two, seven, eight, and then of course we can't help but write anything but a zero here, so in this case we have three significant figures. So this is our three sig figs. Okay. Part two of B asks us to write down our answer to part one in the form of A times 10 to the K, where A is between one and 10. So A is greater than or equal to one or less than 10. It's essentially a one digit number. And then this K is an element of, this is called our integer values. So these are whole numbers. Whole numbers are positive, negative, positive, negative whole numbers. So here is our original value, 278000000. What we want to do is we want to represent this as some multiple of 10. So in this case, we can write this as 2.78 times 10 to the, and this question is really like how many zeros, how many zeros do we need to have? And so we can actually begin by putting this decimal place here and then counting the number of zeros that we would need, the number of times we would need to multiply by 10 to get to the end. So if we're at this point, 2.78. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hops. So we would write this as 2.78 times 10 to the eight. And this is telling us that we want eight zeros, essentially. Eight zeros after our decimal point. There it is, in scientific notation. 2.78 times 10 to the eight. Okay, and writing out in three significant figures is pretty important. It's at the beginning of the rubric, sometimes unnoticed. Um, it says, unless otherwise stated in the question, all numerical answers should be given exactly. So for example, like root two or one half and so on or correct to three significant figures. Um, so it's something that is, is important throughout the exam.